First off, there's a um, nice chart that you can get in the service manual and you can find it online with some searching. It's been posted on forums and people use it to try and help break down all of you know this stuff for folks who can't find where something connects or maybe a line melted and they need to fix it and, and tap it or whatever. So let's, uh, let's break it down. So first off, um, let's see. How to begin this? Uh, let's talk about the solenoids. Um, over on the passenger side, you've got solenoid one, solenoid three in the middle, and solenoid two. And they're actually labeled. Okay, you got one, three, two. And on each of those solenoids, you've got the wiring harness connectors. You know, I've got mine in the yellow sheaths, yours probably black. Um, that plug right into the top of the solenoids. And then underneath those are the actual hose connections. Let's, uh, yes, you can see it. Okay. And what we can see is that solenoid one right here has got underneath it one, two connectors, a black hose and a gray hose. And uh, let's see, solenoid two has got, um, we'll call that a, a, a black hose on the bottom. Sorry, it's again. Black hose, white hose, and again, sort of like a off white maybe gray that's solenoid three sorry I don't know if I said two but that that's three the center solenoid number two the one on the other side here has got two hoses a white off white it's not white white it's a like cream and then dark brown okay um, now one thing we can knock off right off the bat is off of solenoid one right here, this gray line, which goes back around the cruise control unit here, that gray line comes around and plugs into the map sensor that's on the firewall. By the way, some of my, my equipment might look different than yours just because of uh, year and you know changes that Chrysler may have made uh, in how they were hosing things at the factory and whatnot, but um, there's that gray hose plugged in right there to the map sensor, okay? So there's one. So let's just go solenoid by solenoid. Now we get the black hose, which I've traced these uh, hoses back across to where they go over by the turbocharger. So let's uh, go over there, okay. Solenoid one, the black hose, which I can see right here inside the uh, wiring. Can you see that black hose up right on my finger? Okay, so where does that go? Over here. I have everything labeled. I already traced this all down. Okay, so here is number one solenoid black hose. This. Um, has a coupler and this hose plugs into the intercooler hose that currently is not on my car, but it's gonna look sort of like this. This, this is a, not the original intercooler hose, but you know, it'll have the same connections right here. You know, the uh, inlet air temp sensor right there, but here's the hose in question. Still black, there's the coupler piece, so that would go to right there, okay? That's our solenoid one. We remember uh, solenoid two, okay, is right here. It's got a white and a brown, or sorry, a cream, right? It's more cream and a brown. 
So let's trace those back over here. And we have back in the back, the brown uh, hose is sort of back here. That goes to the wastegate. Okay, there's your brown hose on the wastegate, number two solenoid. Okay, um, the other one was sort of the cream colored. And let's see, that is this hose here, okay? You'll see this sort of uh, triple coupler, uh, hose coupler unit. Let me get this in the camera view. Okay, this unit here, it's got three hoses on either side. That cream one from Solenoid 2 is part of this assembly. And for um, my hoses, where it comes out of that assembly, you can see it comes along here. And there's two, they look very similar in color, but the, the Solenoid 3 one is a little more white that solenoid two is kind of a more darker cream. That hose goes to the rear of the turbocharger. Okay, so be behind the um, that would be the inlet for the turbocharger. There is a connector, a small. A small one right behind there okay and that is where that number two solenoid plugs into right you'd have fish it back there and that's where it goes let's talk about number three solenoid that's the one in the center number three that number is kind of coming off on mine but right there that has three hoses to it it's got a black a white and another uh, gray cream something not the same color as the one from solenoid 2 slightly different shade but awful close okay so there's those hoses on this side and let's see where they come out number three solenoid and some of these are just they don't go to the solenoid and we'll, we'll talk about those uh, after all right first number three here's the the gray right this is goes to sort of a mm, almost like a loop of connections and splitters right so there's the gray hose goes in to there this is a fatter plastic hose which goes into a splitter here comes out in a now a three-way split one the big fat rubber hose goes to the cold air intake that is the one that goes, it's going to go to your, uh, okay, that's your cold air intake. And again, that rubber hose off of the, <laughs> that sort of circular loop of vacuum hoses would go into that fitting there, okay? Then it's got these two other connectors coming off of it. Um, and let's talk about where those go. Okay. Um, back here, we've got one of those going to a, a black tube back here, split two ways. Okay. Goes into this black tube. The black tube has another hose coming out of it. Okay, this one that goes here, that goes down to the brake booster. Okay, and plugs in where the brake booster line is and uh, splits off there. Um, this black, this black plastic hose, well, it's hard to see. Here, okay, that the the two you got one going off to the brake booster. This one goes to our s circular thing, and then we have a, the skinny black hose going back over towards the solenoids, and then 
this other sort of slightly larger hose here also headed off in the direction of the um, solenoids. Um, before we talk about those, I go back, let's talk about the last number three uh, line that we have right here, okay? This one goes to your blow-off valve or the SVA um, surge valve actuator. And that is right at the bottom of the turbocharger. Um, right here, you can see past all the lines. I have mine with a plate on it. Normally, your surge valve actuator um, or blow-off valve on the factory, more like this. This is another aftermarket one, but it's that sort of triangular connection one that goes over there on the bottom of the, the turbocharger, okay? That's the other number three. That's the white one, okay? White goes there. Gray goes to our big loop of hoses. Now we got to trace those two black ones that go back towards the solenoids. Oh, I forgot one other one. Sorry, before we get to the, the two going back. Um, the, the gray hose from the number three solenoid, with one of the junctions or the, the T's that it has, has a rubber hose, a little bit larger. That goes to the larger fitting on the turbocharger down here that um, yeah that one okay that's uh, it's larger it's not as small as the one that's on the back of the turbocharger okay that's that rubber one that's part of the whole setup it's got the gray gray from solenoid 3 white from solenoid 3 and the more I don't know cream whatever you want to call it that goes to the rear of the turbocharger from solenoid 2 okay okay the black hoses that seem to be a part of solenoid 3 um, and if we remember solenoid 3 did have three hoses or three, yeah three hoses on it a black a white and a gray creamy thing so chances are the black on the solenoid 3 are these um, black ones that are in question this right here this little one and then this um, angled larger one that goes into the whole clump so let's see where those go yeah okay so the angled one goes over to here it comes out actually right by the map sensor um, there's that plastic one there. That comes down, has a T, and goes to the, um, uh, the purge solenoid, okay, which is, is gonna be down, down here, uh, bolts to the air conditioning dryer. Um, okay, so there's, there's that black hose that was in question. Right. Uh, looks like that has a T as well. What is this? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so that T that goes down to the uh, uh, the, the purge solenoid uh, also has this T. That when it travels this direction is coming out right here to the throttle body. That goes to the purge solenoid and the number three. Sorry, the purge, yes, the purge solenoid and the number three turbocharger solenoid. Okay, that's that guy there. I also have this teed to go into my external uh, aftermarket blow-off valve. That's where you'd want to connect it. Now we, we still have to deal with this one back here, this small black hose. So let's see where that goes. Okay. All right. That 
little black pose. Pose two. If you can see, right, right above the cruise control unit, there's a there's that black hose. Okay, that's the little black hose that we were just looking at over there. That's part of the whole number three solenoid um, cluster, and that black hose goes around behind the cruise control. Um, check the camera. From behind the cruise control, it's this one that goes down through the hole in the, uh, the frame support, the, the engine compartment comes out here and goes to your vapor canister, okay? That's mounted right there on the frame rail. All right. Number two went to the wastegate and the, the rear of the turbo. Uh, number three went to the surge valve or the blow-off valve, uh -huh. number three, the um, cold air intake, the air cleaner, the turbo discharge, that fatter one down there, and to the purge solenoid over here underneath the map sensor down by the AC dryer. Uh, and, you know, out of the, the whole cluster, that's part of that as well. It goes to the the throttle body, right? That's part of number three, and it goes out to the evap canister on the on the fender rail. Okay, and then lastly, the number one solenoid went to the number one the uh, intercooler line, right? Remember, I had it split, and it's going to go into that which is also where the blow-off valve will go. So, intercooler and uh, over here, the number one solenoid has one of its hoses going to the map sensor over here. All right, that was long. Hopefully that helped um, help you uh, identify hoses and where they go and, you know, if something melted or got unplugged, you need to know where it goes. I hope that helps.